So our surveys are, uh, which one you are not able to start? It was on 14, right? Yeah, it was uh, 16 and 17. Yeah. 16 only 16 and 17. 16, yeah. Okay. 57.117. Yeah, this one, 117, uh, the database is done. That 116. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll check the status. Yeah. PS hyphen EF pipe clip OH yes. Okay, here is it will um, check cluster hyphen all, says that only our first node is, um, only node uh, 17 is up, the node uh, 16 is down. So we will find out which are the nodes available for us, mm -hmm. OLS nodes hyphen n, which gives, we have the two instances, that is YC11G uh, R16 and YC11G R17. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, start uh, a session, which will be connecting to, sorry, we need Connect to system. Okay. First thing, whether our OHSD is up. Grip. OHSD. Okay, OHSD is up. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to Y sheet grid underscore home bin CRS ETL check CRS. It says that Oracle high available service only online. The CSS, CRS and EVM is down. Now will we check the ASM is not up in the case the next check will be that whether my ASM disks are available. Okay. So for that slash user slash has been slash oracle asm list disks they are showing mm -hmm. okay now the next one is that whether in this case let's try to start up the asm instance whether we are able to bring up the asm before that since uh, we already have the permission issue uh, before that we need to check whether the permission is correct so let me put the permission so all the permissions are, are wrong because one one uh, criteria to be checked is that we have to check whether the permission of the uh, grid infrastructure home and that of the ASM uh, uh, permissions are correct. For example, has been sorry user slash has been has been slash oracle ASM space configure. This says that the Oracle ASM user ID is grid and ASM admin is, um, the group is ASM admin. That means only the user grid and the members of the group ASM admin only can manage the ASM instances. So in this case, what we need to do is that. So this was correct, is it? Which one? Uh, so after configuration information, so whatever you have, this is the Oracle ASM UID is equal to grid. So that is correct, is it? 
Yeah, or a class some user ID is equal to grid. That part is correct. Okay. But uh, you have configured in your uh, setup, you have configured the grid infrastructure uh, user or the ASM disk owner is as grid and the group is ASM admin. But um, if you are looking here, our grid home, the software location, you have changed as Oracle and O install. Okay, so O install part is correct, but the group, the user is in, uh, incorrect. So what we'll do that, we'll try to change the permission. That is ch on hyphen r grid colon O install grid underscore home. Okay, now let's do grid underscore home ls hyphen l. Okay, now we can try to stop the cluster and try to start it up. That is cd bin dot slash crctl stop crs. Okay. It says that it is not able to contact the CRSB, it is not able to clean or do the shutdown. So it wants to, um, it is not able to shut down the thing. So what we will do that, grep OHASD will kill this process 3703. Okay. Now we will try to start CRS. Meanwhile, we'll check one more thing. PWD LS L. Here, the permission looks fine. Now we need to check one permission LS L Oracle. Okay, this looks fine. In these cases, maybe if this is not starting automatically, we may have to go ahead with a restart of the server. But we'll see. Check. CRS. We'll go to the log directory and we'll try to get some additional information. Here we are getting a message that um, Let's see what's the time now. Date. Yeah, it, it looks like it's a previous message. But if you're looking, if you're analyzing the log file, you can see that at the last, when it's tried to bring up the resources at 7.54, it was telling that it is not able to start up the uh, OCI location. It's not able to access the OCI location, which is under the ASN disk group. Because ASN this group is inaccessible. Okay. Are you getting this message? Yeah. So that is the another way to find out whether we have any permission issues are there. Now let's check whether this issue is resolved. Now our cluster is ready. Now you should command CRS CTL check cluster hyphen all. Is this clear? Yes. Okay. Anybody got any questions on this uh, troubleshooting steps? Yeah, go ahead.
after that um, it will show the whether the ASM is running or not. Until the, this, I also don't have problem at the first time. Okay. Yeah. Now the thing is that somehow uh, the permission has been changed. Uh, maybe due to uh, due to the changes that you made for running the DVC. See, point to be noted is that the first command uh, say here um, that is user has been or some space configure. Yeah. This is the command. This is the permission of the. Uh, this is what we are giving initially, right? So in here it says that. The Oracle ASM user is grid and the uh, Oracle ASM group it is admin. That means only these two uh, people can start up the ASM. That is a grid, you, uh, either as a grid user or the user who belongs to ASM admin group. In our case, since the binaries are belong to Oracle user and Oracle is not, user is not the part of the ASM admin, so Oracle user when is trying to bring up the, uh, the ASM, so that means the grid infrastructure owner at this stage is not grid but Oracle. But Oracle permission and that of the uh, uh, Oracle ASM disk permissions are not matching. Because of that, Oracle is not able to access the ASM disk which contains the OCR and unable to bring up the resources. Okay, but you'd have done everything by using a root user only now, is it? No, I have not done anything with the root user only. The thing is that I have just changed the permission because I have, if I want to grant the permission to some other user, I should be in a super user privilege. Okay. So, so after this, the ASM will be fine. Okay. Yeah. Now you now if you are looking, uh, see, see this is this indicate this itself. That is, CRC little checklist itself indicates that your uh, things are fine. And if you are now if you are checking PS hyphen EAF pipe grid. If I'm issuing a PS hyphen EF grip as uh, ASM or as I can get the ASM instance. Yeah, yeah. you're able yeah. to see my screen yeah. now. So you can see that uh, the ASM instance is started as a grid user. Now your cluster is back to the normal uh, privileges and normal operation. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Sir. Any other, uh, 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 guess, uh, anybody else got any con any questions on the steps, this troubleshooting step? Ronald, uh, Sudeep. So always we have to do as a grid user or as an user. Yeah. You see, uh, you need not specify uh, unless you are stopping and starting the cluster. Uh, you don't have only when you are starting to uh, stopping a cluster or you are you are planning to start the cluster. Otherwise, what happens is that you uh, see whenever your cluster is when the cluster is automatically started, the cluster is started automatically whenever you are restarting the server. So to match up that one, only we are starting with the root privilege. So unless you are going to start up or stop, most of the cases you don't have to run the any of the commands as the root user. You must try to run as either as uh, grid infrastructure owner or else the RDBM software owner. Okay. Finn, is that clear? Yeah.